Hey guys, welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Now, you may have noticed that Ryzen has landed. I really can't say that with a straight face. Of course, you guys know Ryzen is here. But anyway, uh, the productivity performance, as you probably know, is stellar. It's really better than I was expecting. It's first rate. Uh, the gaming performance is also very solid. There's been some controversy, but for an 8-core, 16-thread processor, it certainly does enough, though we do expect Ryzen 5 to tackle gaming more head-on. Anyway, this video has nothing to do with the Ryzen controversy, nothing about Ryzen gaming performance, so no benchmarks, nothing like that. It's just a fun video, and hopefully everyone can relax in the comment section and enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, it is a Ryzen system build. Um, when I was reviewing Ryzen, I was meant to put this together as a bit of a teaser to show you, show off my Ryzen test system, what I would be using to bring you guys the review. But there was a few issues and in the end I didn't have time to get the video out. So now it's probably, well it's almost two weeks late now. But anyway, better late than never. So what I will be showing you is the main Ryzen rig that I will be using for benchmarking with the 1800X. Uh, so yeah, it should be a pretty cool system, and since I did build most of it a few weeks ago, and I've got a couple of new cool bits in since then, I have made a few upgrades to the rig, which you will see in the video. So yeah, a bit of a spoiler, this rig is very cool. I love it dearly. I'm very, very proud of it. It's been a long time since I could say I was proud of one of my AMD test systems, but this thing is the real deal. Very cool system, so I'm keen to show it off to you guys. So anyway, with that, let's get to the build, and then I'll discuss the bits used afterwards.
what can I say really? That's almost too good looking for a test system. It's a bit of a shame I won't have the glass panel on the whole time and I'll be ripping graphics cards in and out. The cable management isn't quite as good as it could be because I will be ripping things in and out constantly. But yeah, probably the best looking test system I have yet. The KB Lake system that Corsair sponsored was also very, very impressive looking, but I think this one takes the cake. I really like it. And I think this would be possibly the 10th Harbour Unbox test system now. I'll have to do a head count after this video. But yeah, ever-growing family of test systems here at Harbour Unboxed. And I think this is my favourite of them all. As cool as dual Titan XP cards are in SLI, those green glowing GeForce logos on the side kind of spoil the aesthetics. So I think the MSI Gaming X graphics cards look more at home in this system. For those of you wondering, I have used the ASRock Fatality X370 Gaming K4 motherboard, which currently sells for 150 US or 220 Aussie. Then we have Corsair's Vengeance LPX 16GB DDR4 3000 memory kit, which sells for 130 US or 160 Aussie. I swapped out that knock to a 120mm AM4 style cooler, which you would have seen earlier in the video. That sells for 65 US or 90 Australian, and I replaced it with the beefy EK XLC Predator 240. I'm not actually sure how much the Predator costs, I couldn't find it on sale at Amazon or Newegg. Uh, and I did strip off the fans and the controller and a few other bits and pieces off it, so that kind of defeated the purpose of buying it. Uh, not that I did, it was supplied. But anyway, it's an all-in-one solution and with the fans on it and the controller, it's a very neat bit of kit. The reason I pulled off the fans and all that was because I wanted to use the Corsair RGB fans and fit it into the case a bit better, which I think I achieved. It looks really nice and it fit like a glove. Also, most importantly, it does a great job of keeping the Ryzen 7 1800X cool, even when overclocked. Overall, this is going to be a great test system to benchmark with. I think you guys will agree. And speaking of which, I'm very keen to get this video edited, upload it, and do some benchmarking with this system. So I had a lot of fun putting this system together. So much fun that I was almost disappointed when I was done. I wanted to keep tinkering and build another Ryzen system, which is actually good news because I will be doing exactly that, probably starting next week, uh, presuming all the bits come in. But I have the beginnings of what is going to be probably the coolest Ryzen system I'm gonna build in a long time. Uh, and it will be the system that I'm giving away to one lucky subscriber. So I've got this box just arrived this morning from Thermaltake. And uh, it's the, the start of some of the bits we need to build that system. I'll go through it all in a video shortly once I have all the other bits. But yeah, this is going to be a really, really cool system. I can't wait to get stuck into it. It'll be a custom liquid-cooled hard pipe system. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. And the best bit is I get to give it away. And it will be a global competition. So any one of you guys watching this video has the chance to win a high-end Ryzen system with all the bells and whistles. So... With that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed watching me build this beast, and you'll be seeing some test results from it shortly. I'm your host, Steve. Catch you again soon.